Hey guys, Ben here from United Yacht Sales and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this week we are going to be doing part two of three of the catamarans that I shot at the Palm Beach Boat Show uh, last month. Uh, this one is going to be the Leopard 42, also known by its charter name as the Moorings uh, 4200. It's replacing the Leopard 40, aka the Moorings 4000. So what's the deal with this boat? All right, so at this point, I think in the current uh, life cycle of Leopard's current um, catamaran generation, things are pretty fleshed out. We had the 50, we had the 45, uh, followed by the 50. Uh, now we have at least the smallest of the range this time, the 42. I didn't hear any uh, big plans from the Leopard people at the show that they plan to re replace the 58 at this uh, time. So sorry for lovers of, uh, you know, big boats, but uh, 50 is going to have to be the biggest you can get for now. So yeah, with the 42, you can get most of the features that people want from the 45 uh, without the forward cockpit. If you just want a smaller boat or just don't care much for the, uh, care much for the feature. Uh, we'll hop aboard soon, but just wanted to say, I mean, as usual, I think it'll go on to be a great boat. Maybe in a year or two, we'll see some hit the used market, but for now, uh, just th sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So, thanks again. All right, so we're at the dock looking at the uh, starboard sugar scoop. Notice, nice and wide. You've got uh, a fake teak trim all around. You've got leopard davits. These davits, of course, mechanize. They fold down if to... Uh, lower your dinghy. We'll go aboard. The first you notice is that you have a window actually that leads to the master stateroom so you can get some extra light and air through that way. In the cockpit you've got a day bed here, a really big U-shaped settee. We'll, uh, we'll come back to this later but we'll go forward first this time. We've got a hatch that leads to the owner's stateroom. We'll stop by the helm station. As usual, you can have any electronics you wish on your Leopard, just as long as it's Raymarine. Uh, you know, to paraphrase Henry Ford. So, but looking at the line arrangement, we've got the jib cars up here, an organizer for the remainder of the lines, and everything else comes back toward the helm station here for one, two, three Harkin winches. Now Leopard is only going to be building uh, with the lounge, you know, areas going forward. So, um, you know, if you wanted the older non-lounge version, um, I guess you'll have to buy used. That's what I'm being told at the show. But you've got a you've got a lounge area up here, table, as well as some storage for drinks. German sheeting system uh, on the back of the hard top for controlling the mainsail. And above us, of course, is a hard top and a window for viewing, viewing the rig well underway. <clears throat> you can also add an enclosure if you wish, though. Uh, this boat is not equipped with one. Look at the visibility. Um, visibility is, of course, going to be pretty great. We're pretty high up. <clears throat> But what's also important is the interior visibility. You can look into the salon real easily. <laughs> and uh, as well as the rest of the cockpit. So that's another key feature you find on all Leopard catamarans of this current generation. We'll keep going. We've got flush mounted hatches, of course. All right, so up front you've got lifelines that wrap all the way around, seating on either side, a split trampoline, spinnaker pole, uh, your jib. In the small rectangular locker is access to your windlass, and the big locker is the anchor chain as well as uh, other tankage. This can of course all be covered over with cushions, you know, make a big day bed. The being that is a current generation leopard, you've got sort of windows that, you know, they're. They're, uh, they're framed, but they uh, give, from a distance, they give the illusion to wrap around, so. As well as vertical windows for the remainder of the salon. We'll go inside first. All right, so we'll come on the inside and uh, we'll look at everything first. You've got a nav station off to your right. 
an L shaped a T here, storage and a TV rubber there. This time the electrical panel is of course on the passageway and you've got a big U shaped galley off to the left. You have a compression post here but um, I think it's mostly out of the way given this goes directly into the countertop. So yeah, you I mean looking at the salon, it's got you know all of the same sort of elements that you know people like in the the old Leopard 40, which this boat is replacing. So it's sure to be a crowd pleaser. On the nav station, you've got a desk here. Some people install computers in here. I've I've actually seen it done before, as well as VHF, and you can add more instruments on this board. Of course, just cut them out and wire them up. This table is of course adjustable, so it does fold down. No problem. Go ahead. <laughs> no problem. Alright, you've got a three burner stove in here. Oven as well. And this boat comes in the uh, this boat comes in the walnut version. It has two colors. There's a dark version and the light version. Single basin sink, one with uh, tap water, one with drinking water. And we'll go into the owner's suite next. All right, into the owner's suite we go, though. First, we'll take a notice of the electrical panel. Real nice, good quality switches. And you'll notice the steps, of course, are pure fiberglass, so nice and durable. Remember, these boats have to hold up in charter for four to five years. So right in the owner version, you've got three big drawers down here, a big hanging locker, Access to uh, air conditioner is going to be behind these panels. And of course, in the owner's head, it does have a... You can close off this door for extra privacy, but you've got a washer-dryer combo, uh, shower stall with wand shower, sink and vanity. And you know, it's just big. I mean, I'm 6'2", and I can stand up in here no problem, so it gets high marks from me. And I know Leopard has never had the biggest hole volume, but, you know, with the current technology, they really can make their holes just much more wide open. Okay, you've got a reading and writing desk down here. Uh, owner has a separate TV. And, of course, a sliding door for extra, extra privacy. They've added a mirror as well. A island, a semi walk around island berth here. And you just got to appreciate the lighting. Lots of windows. I mean, really, really good lighting. You can wake up and just look at the sea at anchor. We'll pop over to the guests now. First, notice, however, the sunroof. You do have good way to brighten up the cockpit and if you don't want that much sun of course it does have a shade all right going into the guest area biggest difference from the 40 that you're gonna find uh, on the new 42 is that we've got two heads here instead of one so in the forward cabin sorry our light is being uh, blocked by this other boat hashtag boat show problems but you can see the interior lights, so, uh, you know, highlighted a bit more, you know, when it's dark at night. And of course, you've got generous storage under the bed, not just one, but actually two lockers. And the first guest head. We'll take a look at the aft. Oops. We'll take a look at the aft stateroom. Nice thing about Leopard, all of the berths on this boat is you've got nice long storage areas on the side for you to put your phone, books, whatever that is within easily arm's reach. You've also got more shades here if you require privacy, and of course each guest cabin does have their own hanging locker. All in all, if you don't like the old Leopard interior, um, I think you'll probably like the newer sort of walnut style a bit better. 
Okay, so before we clock out, we'll finish up the rest of the exterior real quick. In the cockpit, we've got a nice deep U-shaped settee along with a wood table. Real nice grain on this table, like it a lot. Like with all leopard catamarans, you've got a backrest here on this side of the settee. You can either push it forward to dine with the rest of the crew or push it back, sit back, relax, and just watch the waves flow past. And as you, and just one more thing, uh, to access the lounge, you actually go up here. These are the steps. And voila. Uh, you can't exactly use this area while un at sail, or at least I've never really felt comfortable using it, but you know, it's great. People love it and uh, sells boats. So that is going to wrap it up for the Leopard 52, sorry, 42. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy the video, leave a dislike. Uh, leave a comment if you please. And if possible, please consider subscribing as usual. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.